everybody, my name is Jonathan, and welcome to Barely Unboxed. For the month of October, I got some really cool stuff planned, and I'm all ready with my Jack Lantern shirt. <laughs> and you can probably see this. This is my first thing I'm going to be unboxing, and really unboxing, because I have not opened this up yet. This is Plunderlings, which was a Kickstarter that I backed probably a year or two ago at this point. It's been a while. Um, this is the second one that they've done. And the first one I backed as well. And it's these little goblin type characters called Plunderlings. And I ended up getting two of them in that Kickstarter. And they also had some add-ons where you could get these little bodies for their extra heads because they all come with different heads and accessories. Uh, this guy's name is Cheddar. He's Nomad Cheddar. There's different kind of clans. Uh, the idea with these is they're basically like little goblin pirates, but they're all different. Uh, this one's name is Tough. And then later on, they came out with the Fawns, um, W, or sorry, F-A-W-N-S, Fawns, and this guy's name is Flute, and they came out with a red one of him, but I didn't get that one, unfortunately. These are a little pricey. Um, you can still order some of these on uh, Entertainment Earth and Big Bad Toy Store. One or the other, I know for a fact, has the older ones. I think it's Big Bad Toy Store has the older ones. And then these new ones uh, will be on both websites. I'll put links to those down below. But let's get these guys over here. And the new Kickstarter uh, came out with two new versions, and they're called Plunder Strongs which are big, beefy, goblin, kind of orc-looking guys, and Plunder Longs, which are taller, kind of elf-looking goblins. And unfortunately, this just has the Plunder Strong because there was some issues with the production run for the Plunder Longs, and he'll be coming next month, so I'll just be doing another video for him when he finally arrives. So let's get... A box cutter and start opening this up and this thing is pretty big I mean look at that that pretty much hides my whole face and I'm gonna open it from the back here um, so that this is actually the top it's in the back and then We'll see what, what we got. I kind of have an idea of what's in here. Right. We got a little, what's called the hatchling crate. And here's another hatchling crate. Oh, and there's a bag, a little burlap bag. I wonder what's in that. And then, this box down there and they wrapped it up with bubble wrap and this is a very big package I know the plunder strongs all have this really large packaging and the plunder longs is large but not as wide all right Okay, and there we go. Now let's take a good look at him while he's in the box. I'm going to put these over here. We'll look at these in a second. So this character, his name is Naufra Naufrag. Naufrag? Naufrog? Cursed uh, Naufrog. I'm just gonna say now frog, sounds cool. Um, but the packaging is really cool. 
Uh, you can see like feet on the bottom. It's like he's in a crate. And I believe these slots right here, if I remember right, there's going to be ears made out of the cardboard inside here that you can put on the sides for display if you want. Um, they have some tape up here, which I'm gonna try to peel off. Uh, maybe, maybe I should cut it. Give you a look at the back and the barcode right there and you can uh, find these again on Big Bad Toy Store and Entertainment Earth uh, because I did the Kickstarter I got a really good deal on two of them it was I think I pledged a hundred dollars for two of them and then I did have to pay extra for these which I'll explain what these are once we get him out uh, the ones you can order on line on entertainment earth and big bad toys are are pricier because it's the production run versions and these are made by lone coconut they did both series all right, now before I open that, I'll give you one last look at what the packaging looks like. All right, and now we will start to open it. Something feel weird to you? Oh well, I'm sure everything's fine. All right, so. Pull this out. Yeah, and if you look here in the box, there are a pair of ears that you can plug into the side of these, which I believe this one is it bend. I can't remember if it's supposed to bend or not. But anyway. goes like that yep. and then you have these ears on the package which don't really stay in very well but there's what they look like so that's what they look like hmm anyway I'll put this box over here to the side other things and there you go that's what he looks like when he comes out and you can see he comes with three different heads and multiple pairs of hands he has these these lobster claw hands right now which are kind of cool but I'm probably gonna switch them out for some normal uh, normal looking hands he also comes with a little Nautilus shell hat. So let's see, how does this all come apart? Oh, okay. So that just pops right out. And there's all his accessories. He has some really cool faces. And then this just has twist ties on it, which uh, I'm gonna untwist all these and get all the stuff out of the package and then I'll be right back. All right, and we're back. Does something feel weird to you or a little off? I have no idea what it is. Well, anyway, he is really cool. He has a lot of articulation in the chest, the waist, the shoulders, and the bicep, and the elbow. And it's like a ratchet, kind of on the elbow. It's like a ratchet. Yeah, they're a little stiff. And the claws do open. The claws open up and down, which is really cool. 
And then the head obviously can go up and around. And he has the same kind of articulation in his legs. Yeah, uh, I didn't want to break it. Yeah, and it doesn't seem like the belt is removable. Uh, he does have ankle articulation that goes up and down. Let's see, it's a little stiff, like I was saying. Okay, so it can go back and forth and it can go up and down. So that's really nice. And I want to find out how hard it is to remove the hands. And there is a little bits of plastic coming off here and there. And let's get his legs posed so he can stand. His Unfortunately, his uh, legs are a little loose. So you might need to use an action figure stand. You see, he keeps wanting to do the splits. So there we go. Got on the stand. He has a fang. It's kind of weird. I wonder what it would be like to have fangs like that. All right, now let's see if we can, oh, that pops off really easily. This one, okay, that one not as easy. And then he has these alternate open hands. And then he has also alternate uh, closed hands so he can hold things. He did not come with any weapons or uh, accessories other than this magnetic hat which goes on his head just like that and it gives him like glasses that's pretty cool now let's give him one open hand and one closed hand Make sure I give them the correct hands. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. And then he has two alternate heads. I'm going to show you those. This is like an open face, open mouth, screaming head. And then this one is like just an angry Grimace head. And I think that one is actually pretty cute. Because I'm not going to lie. I think he's adorable in his grumpiness. Now the head popped off really, really easy. Alright. Now let's see if we can get that back on. Well, not so easy to get it back on. So you might want to warm these up. Yeah, that one does not want to go on. Uh, you might want to warm these up with like a hair dryer on a lower setting or uh, dip it in some hot water. There we go. So you just kind of have to push it on until it goes on. And there he has that. And then if you see the helmet works on every single head. And then he also has this jacket that he wears over his shoulders. So let's see. Can we get that? Yeah, it looks like it's rubber, so it does move around a bit. And there he is in the jacket. 
which looks pretty cool. And let's bring in one of the original ones for a size comparison. Look at that. And then the little hatchling body, which these will have little bodies in them that are the color of his skin. So you can put, oops, so you can put the extra head on the body. And then he also came with these extra hands for the hatchling because these do not go on his body. <laughs> Now one of these is blue, and that's for the other one that I'm still waiting on. And then this one is a red one, so that'll be for him. So let's open this up. I'm going to save this one for when I get the other one in the mail. And go ahead and open this up. Which it does have some tape. Oops. Trying not to destroy the box, but it is just a box. So, oh, wow, okay. This came with actually two separate bodies. So you can actually use both heads. I don't remember that happening with the first series. I, I don't know, actually. Um, huh. Now, it did come with nothing but closed fist hands for the hatchling body. I, w I wish it would have came with open hands. But that might be something I had to order extra because a lot of these are are kind of piecemeal and you can kind of add on when you're checking out with Kickstarter. Um, but I was trying not to spend too much more money on it. So I'm okay with having these. Those hands do not want to go in very easily. <laughs> All right, now let's try the head. Oh, that plastic. There we go. And there he is. <laughs> and he has a little butt. <laughs> That's pretty cute. So I'll probably just do one and put the other one back in the box. I like that. <laughs> and you can compare these. Their heads are actually smaller on these than they were the original. So it's kind of funny. All right. Well, now all we have left is this baggie. Let's see what they sent in the baggie. Maybe it's some extra stuff. Cool. It, it's a bunch of. Okay, this is very unexpected. Oh, wow. They are a bunch of pins. And this is Flute the Fun. Look at that. That's pretty cool. I was not expecting that. And then I got this one, which is a water one. I can't remember what they were called. Um, and then I got my guy, Cursed Now Frog. And oh, and I got this guy as a pin with his hammer. <laughs> This is tough. And, oh, and I got another Wonderstrong character. He's pretty cool. And, oh, this one's really cool. That's, I like that one. That one's like a green 
version of the one I got. And then there's another one. Wow. There's a little purple guy. Oh, he's pretty cool. I don't know if you got a good look at that. My camera isn't the best for zooming in when it needs to. <laughs> and this is, I think, the main character that they originally showed back in the first Kickstarter. So, wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pins. That was very unexpected. So I'll have to thank them for that. Let's bring everyone back in. And kind of display the wall. Ah, don't fall over. I really, really enjoy these figures. They're really well made and they've put a lot of care into making them and the production and all that. And so there you go. There you have it. We'll be doing another video in the future. And let's see. Oh, I should probably read what it says in here as I draw through everything. All right, let's see. These toys were constructed and hand painted with great care. Please carefully loosen the joints after unboxing. You may need to apply heat with a hairdryer. We hope playing with these brings you the same joy and happiness we felt while creating them. We are extremely grateful to the fans that brought this project to life. For more information, visit www.plunderlings.com. And just like that, I feel different. Hmm. I don't know. Something must have happened. But I wasn't really paying attention. So I hope you enjoyed this video. This was a lot of fun. And this is just the first video of my Halloween videos this month, which I've affectionately named them the Monster Mash miniseries. And it's not just a midweek miniseries like my previous Magic Mixies, it's going to be the whole month, um, at least two videos. A week so I have some really cool stuff planned some uh, Halloween themed toys mostly and I thought this guy was pretty good for Halloween because he's basically like a big orc kind of guy and the little goblins and whatnot and I really had a lot of fun unboxing this for you and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Maybe you've seen these before. Or maybe this is your first time. I'd love to know if any of you actually have these. Or if maybe you're going to order one now. Uh, they will be on uh, Entertainment Earth and Big, Big Bad Toy Store. I'll put links to both websites right to the, the plundering toys for you. Uh, that will be down below. And again, I love you all and thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.